Alright guys, I'm Rabia. And I'm Matt. And this is Sound Like on Anderson's TV. I'm very excited today. This is going to be a good one. So today we're going to be trying to sound like Brian Adams. And Keith Scott. Yes, of the Brian Adams band. For all so, those that are a little bit like more in tune with your oldie kind of stuff, not necessarily saying older people, I'm just saying anyone that's into music from back in the day, 80s and 90s, you know, then you'll know about Brian Adams and the epic guitar tones you'll find on those records. They are great. Great, are. great production as well. It's definitely of an era, but it, it's like cream of the crop of that era. And, and, and like for me when I was a kid, and like my auntie and my dad and stuff would be on the radio, I loved Brian Adams, like all yeah, that kind of stuff. Well, Run, Run To You, Summer of 69, Kids Wanna Rock, all that stuff. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. b Rye, as I like to refer to him as, yes. would be playing a black and white strap. Yes, so what we're thinking is getting a strap. I mean, he's used Les Pauls, Gibson Hollow Bodies, lots and lots of different stuff. Keith Scott also has signature Gretsch Hollow Bodies. Signature Gretsch, Gretsch Hollow Bodies. And I've so, already seen one round the corner that looks very similar, and it's actually not too uh, it's not too expensive, so we should be alright there. Cool. I think it'd be nice to have the contrast between the two, so I'm going to find a nice strap. And I reckon get the strap of your dreams, and then we'll work it out. Okay, okay so I have found this Fender 60s Classic Player Strat, which is based, it's designed by the custom shop and has these custom shop 69, I think, voice 69. Pickups. So the summer of but not for the 69. innuendo purposes. Exactly. For the song. For the song. It sound they'll sound great. It's also got it's got power ferro board. I've seen him use rosewood, so this is the closest we're gonna get in this day and age. Um, but yes, yeah, 786, I think this might do the job. Keith Scott has his own signature Gretsch hollow body guitar in Aspen Green. Okay. And we found a Gretsch hollow body in Aspen Green. This is the Gretsch G5420T 2016 Electromatic. Yes, very nice looking guitar. You know, you got your sort of Filtron style, humbucker style pickups. Basically, what you expect, 786. Big, big to be on there. At the high end of our budget for guitars, yeah, I must so admit. I think my guitar, which I will show you in a second, is about the same price. So yeah. we're going to have a similar budget left for amplifiers. Yeah, but I think this is probably a good shout. Yes, I think so too. Amplifiers? Amplifiers. So we know that Brian Adams and Keith Scott back in the day used to use a lot of Marshall gear. Yes. Now we can't get our beloved DSL 40 anymore. No more sob. So one thing we stumbled across recently whilst shooting a different sounds like was that the Boss Katana 100 <laughs> sounds very much. Yeah, particularly a 212 combination is absolutely outstanding value. It's 409 pounds. It was just so, so cheap, yeah. but the sound, like the, the fidelity of it is so good. And it's I'm gonna so go hard. one further, because Brian Adams is like 80s, 90s, that kind of vibe, there's a lot of chorus, reverb, All delay. All the 80s effects that you need. All built into the amp. So. so as we have like slightly more expensive guitars today, we can, you know, get complimentary slightly cheaper amps, but yeah, not you're compromise only on like tone. 1100 quid for, you, for a guitar and amp for you. Uh, well, probably a bit more, 1200, yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. I, me, on the other hand, Keith Scott used to use Vox AC30s and stuff like that. So I could use the AC15 Greenback combo. Um, however, would need some effect as well. I mean, I could go Katana as well, and we'd, we'd, be, we'd be sorted for like, effect and mm. good quality tone for the money. But I do think it's probably quite a specific tone that should try and achieve. Oh, it's just well, that I need got, reverb and delay and But you're chorus. on the 760, 780, aren't you? Yeah. Um, the AC15 the AC15 700 quid isn't it so that's basically I'm done yeah so you well you can't afford it no I can't really do it not with, <sighs> not with, not with other effects well then should we get the KT100 1x12 and you use a 2x12 we could do that let's give it a go
We're back in the video room. We are back in the video room with all our gear in this quest to sound like Brian Adams. Brian Adams. Yes. The man of many, many a cracking tune at yes. number one. That's the thing and about Brian Adams. And great production. Like when you start a Brian Adams song, whatever song it is that starts with guitar, you go, that's a nice guitar sound. Yeah. I mean, even if it's a bit dated and it's like reverb and, you know, chorusy sound, it's still a great sound. I think I would associate him mostly with his ballads and stuff like that. Yeah. But the, I didn't realise he got so kind of like rocking. cowbell rocking, like Aerosmith style. <laughs> So yes, I am I am acting as Mr. Adams today. B right. Yes, the big B. And this is my Fender Classic Player Stratocaster. This is a 60s with my very apt 69 custom shop designed pickups. They are nice sounding pickups to be fair. So yeah, this is made in Mexico. It's got um, obviously Fender's new Power Ferro board, mm. uh, maple neck, and this beautiful kind of... It's like a sky blue almost. It's a sky blue and then your kind of 60s bathroom green. Minty pick guy. <laughs> Scr scratch <laughs> Bathroom plate. green. So um, really, really nice guitar. Really nice guitar. That's running straight into this Mahusiv um, Boss 212 Katana 100. Yeah. I actually really, really dig the KT100, particularly the 212 model, because mm. it's got all the low end because you've got the two speakers going. But man, you get some ridiculous tones out to of it. To be things. fair, for the money, it is just, it's a no brainer. 409 Everyone quid. should have one. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're one. really, really, really good. <laughs> We're swimming in swimming in it. to be honest, yeah. It hasn't it hasn't gone below halfway. Anyway, so this is what I'm sounding like. Um I'm just gonna say this. That is a great sound. It's I mean, not I'm bad. It's, the 80s it's a, yeah, it. it's a reverby kind of just a big kind of high gain classic rock tone. Yeah, but it's it? got it doesn't. There's nothing harsh about the way it sounds. It's nice and full bodied and like nice crunchy sound. No, it it. it's like. <laughs> nice. So yeah, overall, it's it's the most simple and like best value rig i think that, versatile though yeah one of i think one of the most versatile for the money i mean the guitar is about 880 quid mm. or oh, 780 sorry mm. um and the amps about 400 quid so really 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 good value <laughs> I'm Mr. Keith Scott. And what are you rocking? Well, Keith Scott has his own signature Gretsch hollow body. So I aptly found a, a Gretsch, Gretsch hollow Electromatic hollow body. This is the 54201T. I don't even know what the code name is, something like that. Uh, in Aspen Green, which is the same color that Keith Scott has. And to be fair, I was going to get AC15, but it was out of my budget considering I needed probably for the AC15 like a drive, reverb, delay, stuff like that. 
wasn't going to happen. So I opted for the uh, Boss KT100 as well, although I only got the 112 version. Yes, but they still still very much kind of the same principle. I don't know what we last did, but this is the turn I'm currently rocking. Sounds great. Oh. That since you've been gone chords. <laughs> oh, it was a bit like that, wasn't it? Yeah. But to be fair, I'm more thinking about just the way it sounds. Is it really, I mean, the thing is, this is a Bigsby loaded guitar, and I'm not, I don't have lots of experience with Bigsby loaded guitars, but it makes bending strings a little bit of more of a difficulty, I, I feel like, on this guitar. Mm. But the, the feel and sound of it. <laughs> Well, there you go. That is the rig for Brian Adams and Keith Scott. It is indeed. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I, I, I am going to have to stop you there and say I enjoyed it. I thought for the money, for the fact we got two pieces of gear each, I think we performed. The sound was absolutely there. Yep. Uh, very reminiscent of those kind of guitar tones of the era. So. Yeah, I think I'll be going to listen to it a bit more. A bit, bit of B-Rye. Of course. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know what you think in the comments below and if you'd like to see anyone else on this series. Yeah, give in the description box below, or at least the links to. And I've been Rabir. And I've been Matt. And this has been like sound <laughs> on TV Andertons. <laughs> you, you said it. <laughs> see ya. Yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.